Did you know that a US president showed a reporter his wiener? Here's a hint. It was one of the presidents who had a wiener. They've all had wieners, Brian. Oh, right. But you're gonna learn about that and more because these are our facts about penises. And our handy euphemism counter will count how many ways we can think of to say penis without saying penis. Wiener. Expandable ham bone. Banana of life. <laughs> we should get to the facts. Yeah. Did you know that 15 years after Roald Dahl wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he reused the word snozberry in his adult novel My Uncle Oswald, but this time it referred to a penis. So when Willy Wonka says the snozberries taste like snozberries, he means that the snozberries taste like schlong. <laughs> you said Willy snozberries and schlong. <laughs> you said schlong. Scientists wanted to understand the effects of scent on sexual arousal. They measured blood flow to the genitals while exposing subjects to smells in different combinations. They came up with some strange results. The smell of donuts with licorice was successful in increasing blood flow to the third leg, beaten only by the winning combination of pumpkin pie and lavender. So that's why I got a boner at Thanksgiving. Male dragonflies sort of turn mating into a sport. Not only do they try to inseminate a female, they also try to prevent other males from doing the same. Their dingle dangles are spoon shaped so they can ambush other males and scoop out their sperm. It's like Quidditch, but with sex. In order to catch prey, this terrifying underwater creature buries itself on the ocean floor. When something tasty comes along, bam! Its scissor-like jaws attack with such speed that the prey is sometimes sliced in half. But in 1996, when Lorena Bobbitt cut off her husband's member with a knife, scientists started calling this guy the Bobbitt Worm. I would like to stop thinking about this now. In the village of Salinas in the Dominican Republic, there's a genetic disorder that causes girls to turn into boys at the age of 12. About one in 90 children in the village are born with XY chromosomes, but as children, they appear to have female genitalia. It's not until puberty that a surge of hormones causes them to develop their very own Pinocchio. Goes to show that you can be a real boy with or without one. All sea slugs are hermaphrodites with both a ham slammer and a hoo-ha. But the Chromodorus has a detachable Wilson. It's the only species that can have sex, throw away its baby maker, then grow a whole new heat-seeking love missile within 24 hours. Indonesian rainforests are home to some of the largest flowers in the world, including this guy. The Amorphophallus titanium, which in ancient Greek means giant misshapen penis. It's also known as the corpse flower because it emits an overwhelming stench similar to rotting flesh. A giant misshapen doinker that smells like rotting flesh, Brian. I just might never eat again. Mmm, wait till you see this next one. Oh. Tracing back in our evolutionary chain, the human pickle pole used to be covered in spines. No! We deleted those spines from our genetic code about 700,000 years ago, and monogamy might be the reason why. Most creatures with prickly pocket monsters are not monogamous. The needles on their needles help prevent rival males from mating with a taken female. It's not fun. No. Speaking of genital injury, do you know what injures more hot dog hardware than anything else? Is it some kind of spine? Zippers. They're the single most common cause of dick damage in the United States. In the decade between 2002 and 2012, more than 17,000 thousand Americans ended up in emergency rooms because their Zeus machine got zipperfied. If you've never done this, don't. don't. There's a company called Penist that will incorporate a wee wee into any brand logo you ask for. They have three different packages at 50, 100, and 150 dollars. We thought that sounded like a fun job, so we went to their jobs page and submitted a little freelance work of our own. Yep, we dongified Did You Know and added a flop further to Friend Dog Studios. Pay us money. And finally, which U.S. president showed his pork sword to a reporter? You probably think it's this guy, but it's not. He's still got time. That's true. But it was actually Lyndon B. Johnson's Lyndon B. Johnson that made the cocky cameo. When asked by a reporter why American troops were in Vietnam, LBJ got so frustrated he unzipped his fly, pulled out his presidential pipe cleaner, and shouted, This is why! 
Fun fact, he nicknamed his junk Jumbo. That's not that fun of a fact. I mean, it is if your name's Lady Bird Johnson. That was his wife, right? Yeah. That wasn't just another name for his piece? No. I mean, I wasn't born yet. So it's possible. Right. Those are our facts about Tallywhackers. We'd ask you for your comments, but honestly, we're not sure that's a good idea this time. Don't tell us about your schmeckle. But do subscribe to Did You Know and to Friend Dog Studios. And we'll see you next time. I thought we'd have more euphemisms. Longhorn Steak Stick. The Truncheon of the Gods. Drillbit Von Pistenberg. Quizrod's Hydraulic Pleasure Plank. The Dangling Salamander. John Thomas Plug Rooster. The Vestigial Pant Bone. Pickle Party for One. Flopstaff, Arizona. All right, I'm out of ideas. I don't know how much longer I can last. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin once penned an essay about farts? Read our book full of real, verified facts, trivia, and stories with over 50 original illustrations. Available on Amazon right now. Go grab a copy today.